What's up YouTube? Jerry Land here again bringing you another product that I think just might be worth your money. So today we're going to be doing a review on the Microsoft Surface Pro 3 and this is going to be a special college edition review. So if you are a college student looking to buy a new laptop to take to school, well this is the perfect video for you. I'm going to go ahead and tell you my top reasons of why I think the SP3 is the perfect laptop for you to buy. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with my heavy hitter. So this is a super strong point and it is in regards to being able to have two devices in just one. So with the SP3, you not only get a full functioning PC laptop that's able to run full programs like Chrome, uh, Spotify, Photoshop, etc. But you also get the whole Windows 8.1 um, tablet feature where you get touch screen, you get to go to these different apps like the Sketch app where you can just draw, um, you get to go to different uh, games, etc. Use the Windows Store App Store and just be able to utilize both having a PC laptop and a tablet but in one device. So college students, most of them will need a laptop but most college students also would love to have a tablet like an iPad or a Surface 2 or some other touchscreen device. Um, we just love having that touchscreen. So usually students will buy a laptop, but they'll also buy something like an iPad. So why would you do that when you can just have both features in one device? So you'd save money as well as space. That's the biggest thing. College students have to drag their laptops and everything around in their bags and just have a heavy pack all day long with a laptop and a tablet, but why wouldn't you want a lighter backpack with just one device? So just having this one device is such a huge feature that I love. So it simplifies things by so much and the SP3 really just has it all. Okay, so in regards to having less to carry, I'd love to mention that if you look at how thin and just beautifully designed the SP3 is, it is just amazing. So. I have a comparison video that you should also check out between the SP3 and the MacBook Air. But what I'd love to say is that the SP3, um, even with the type cover attached, is still lighter than the MacBook Air 13 inch model. So that is awesome. Having, again, like I said, these two devices in one, having such a lighter backpack than carrying a MacBook Air, which is already heavier than the SP3, plus another iPad, which is what most students usually have in their bags. All right, so let's talk battery life. So Microsoft says that this should get up to nine hours of battery life, and that is perfect. Um, so with my heavy usage testing, I've gotten about seven and a half to um, seven hours, 45 minutes, whatever, um, and that's with really heavy using. So that is amazing. So for any college student taking notes throughout the day, uh, maybe taking an average of three classes, so that's about three hours long, plus in between maybe surfing the web, watching some videos during lunch, whatever, you're going to be plenty fine with about seven and a half hours of battery, and that's that's just perfect. So this device has no... Um, I have no issues with the battery life that comes with this device. This is another awesome feature about this device. So the SP3 has two 5 megapixel cameras on it, and one on the front, one on the back, that are able to do 1080p uh, HD recording. So doing any Skype calls, video conferencing between friends, and doing class projects like that through video conference is easy. And um, you can also record all different kinds of videos, and I've done YouTube videos on this as well, so the camera on this is amazing. Okay, so another cool thing is that the SP3 has this micro SD slot right here. So um, I have the i5 processor model with 128 gig SSD storage, um, but I am able to um, add on a micro SD card here. They make micro SD cards up to 128 gigabytes, so you can get double the amount of storage in your device for super cheap. You can get that 128 gig micro SD chip on eBay for like less than sixty dollars and so besides that you can of course also get an external drive if you want but I love that they included a micro SD card slot next up we have what every college student is looking for is a solid laptop to be able to type notes on to write essays on write notes physically etc so check this out because this is two devices in one we're able to generically just like on Microsoft Word type up our essay type up our notes or whatever but we also have what's called OneNote built in, which is amazing. OneNote is an app that's included in the SP3 that um, we'll talk about a little more. But in OneNote, you can also type up your notes, but 
You can also handwrite your notes with the Surface Pen that's included that, again, we will also talk about now. And I just absolutely love this feature. So typing on the, um, the Surface Pro 3 is easy, but writing on the SP3 is also just so natural. It's almost like writing in just a regular paper notebook. So I'm going to go ahead and write on this OneNote app and show you what it looks like and then make a comparison video of me writing on just a plain piece of paper and show you the difference. So I'm just going to write out a generic, uh, hi, my name is Jerry. And so let's go ahead and write this out and show you what um, it is compared to a piece of paper. So let's go ahead and write out the same thing on this piece of paper with just a normal pen. So again, hi, my name is Jerry. And let's go ahead and give you a comparison to show you just how amazing the Surface Pen works on the SP3. And look at this comparison. Check this out. Look at that. Let's zoom in a little bit. Focus a little bit. Sorry about that. Look at that. That is, oh my gosh, that works so well and I love it. Writing on the SP3 is so natural and you get just such a natural handwriting um, feeling so it's almost like just using a notepad. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk about the Surface Pen. I absolutely love this stylus. So if you have ever used a tablet, you know that finding a good stylus is incredibly difficult. So this stylus has such a great weight to it. It feels just like one of those expensive fountain pens and it just feels so natural in your hand. The soft, uh, uh, the just the soft feel of when you're writing feels amazing. That tip, look at that. It looks just like a normal pen tip. Whereas other styli have just thick, fat rubber tips. So just the feeling of it in your hand and check out this button right here. So let's talk about the buttons first. This top purple button, when I click it once, it'll go ahead and open up a brand new page on my OneNote. So now you see writing and I'm going to go ahead and click it. Click, check that out. Brand new page. So all that writing disappeared, fresh page started. That is awesome. So that purple button is perfect. It, I love that integration. So let's go ahead and write it out again. Show you that just one more time. Click. There you go. Brand new page. I love that. So let's talk about some of the other features. Check out, so we have that little clip up there and then the other two buttons as well. Um, so for the purple button, there's one thing that I wish that Microsoft did is somehow they made it so that when you flipped it over, that purple button became like an eraser. So just like a normal pencil, when you flip it over, you use that backside to erase. That would have been pretty cool. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about this first button. So this first button is an erase button. So what I do is I'll go ahead and write something on my page and when I hold down that erase button and then basically track through what I just wrote, it'll delete it. So let's check that out. Write something, I'm gonna press that button, and then I'm gonna go ahead and swipe through and there you go, deleted. So that first button is just a erase button and that works perfectly fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the next button. So that one right above the erase button. So that is basically, you use it, so if you click it, um, so let's say you draw something first, and you draw anything you want, scribble, scribble, whatever. Um, let's go ahead and draw a little more. Let's put a little face on it, a little head. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and click that button, and I'm basically gonna draw a circle around what I just drew. So I'm basically lassoing it, and I let go, and look at that. So now I'm gonna zoom in and just clear that up a bit so you can see you see that rectangle right there that's encircling my drawing? So now I can go ahead and move my artwork. How awesome is that? So you can easily customize your notes, write something, uh, move it, add a little picture next to it, move that picture on top of the writing a little bit, just do overlay, whatever you want. So again, look, I can go ahead and lasso do like random shapes. But then after I look at the lasso, it'll perfectly form a rectangle or a square right around my picture and you can again like I said go ahead and move it around so that is an awesome feature so this is the surface pen I absolutely love it I think Microsoft did an amazing job with it before they were um, working with Wacom um, and they make great uh, pens and uh, whatever but um, this time they went with Entrig and this allowed for a closer um, uh, I guess 
they allow the screen to be closer to the surface so you get an even better feel of writing on the screen. And even though there are less pressure sensitivity points um, in this new pen, I can't tell the difference. So pressure sensitivity is still amazing. So my one thing I don't like is if you notice, if you look really carefully, you can see that there's some fraying on the tip. The tips are easily replaced, but I wish that that lasted a little longer. So it is rubber and of course it's gonna um, get messed up as you use it over time, but overall this is the best stylus I've ever used and anybody who has a tablet and likes taking notes on their tablet knows that finding a good stylus is incredibly hard and so I think Microsoft again did a great job with this. Um, so taking notes uh, through writing your notes or typing your notes, whatnot, OneNote is an amazing app and uh, not too many people know about OneNote or give it enough credit so definitely check that out. OneNote is a great feature for students and it's free. It comes installed with your SP3, whereas um, you would have to buy Microsoft Office. And so um, with Google Chrome now, you can just download Microsoft Office online um, in your Google Chrome webpage. So you don't even need to buy Microsoft Office. So again, like I said, um, OneNote is amazing. But check this out also. So I had a plain paper, but now look at this. If you look closely, you can see that I now have ruled lines. And let's say you are in a math or phys physics class or something like that, and you want grid lines. Check this out. I can also do grid lines in OneNote. So personally, for some reason, I just like taking notes with grid lines, and so um, that works well for me, but it's whatever you like. Okay, so let's talk screen size. So I think Microsoft did a great job with choosing a 12-inch screen. So tons of people think the MacBook Air 11-inch is a little too small and the 13 inch is pretty perfect, so 12 inch in the middle is just fine with me. So Microsoft went with a three by two aspect ratio this time, so that they would have a great landscape viewing mode, um, but also a good portrait viewing mode. Um, so that made it so that it's so much more natural looking at it in portrait mode now. So before with the Surface 2, it looked so awkward because it was just such a uh, wide device with such a skinny, um, I guess, top to bottom. Um, sizing and so it just looked awkward when you held it in portrait mode. So now um, it feels fine, it looks fine holding it in landscape or portrait mode. Um, being able to hold it like this makes it feel more like a book, like a magazine or a newspaper, something like that, and it just feels very aesthetically pleasing. So I love um, that they did the whole 3 by 2 aspect ratio, and again, the 12 inch screen is perfect for me. I think it's a great size. So uh, with this Microsoft logo right here, it's this touch sensitive one. It used to be down there, but now they moved it to the top right, which is kind of weird to me because most people are right handed um, and not lefty. So I don't know why they wouldn't put it on the left side because when you're writing, you could potentially just accidentally bump into that touch sensitive button and um, go back to your home screen, which would be kind of annoying. Um, but with all the writing that I've done, let's say out of 100 times, I will most likely hit it maybe once or twice. So that is um, not a problem at, at all. It's just something that I noticed and thought was kind of weird. Um, but the reason they put it there is because when you look at it in portrait mode, now it looks kind of more like an iPad. So just to kind of show you that in portrait mode, it still looks natural and like it should be. So um, good job, Microsoft, with 3 by 2 ratio. So this is something I probably should have mentioned earlier, but let's say... Um, you are working with your PC laptop and everything's going great um, but like I said this is two devices in one so let's say you wanted to just use this as a tablet now look at this I can just go ahead and snap off my keyboard and now I have a straight up tablet so with other devices that are also touch screen but are only laptops you can't do that you get a touch screen but it's still a full laptop so in this I can have a full PC or a full tablet whenever I want so that is awesome Check this out, this is a big one. So the hinge, oh my gosh, the new hinge that they have is amazing. So in the past we had um, the Surface that had just this one angle. And then the Surface 2 came out with a second angle choice, so you had your first one, then your second one. But now what we have is a friction hinge that will be able to go from this angle all the way down, check this out, all the way down to about 150 degrees I believe. But somebody in my other video actually pointed out that I can go ahead and close up this hinge and I can actually lay my 
surface all the way down to be able to have that complete flat angle. So it technically can go past 150 degrees. So this is so important too, lapability. Oh man, with the first Surface products that came out, it was a little tough. Um, it was difficult to type in your lap because you had a flat surface and you had one angle for your screen to be in. But now we have our friction hinge and then we have our new magnetic clamp that comes with the Type Cover 3 that helps you get a more rigid typing feeling. Um, it just feels so much more solid typing on this device. And the trackpad, oh my gosh. It is now larger, it's made out of a soft, smooth plastic, it's not that same felt material that was made out of the whole type cover, um, so that works a lot better. Um, but in general, lapability is so much more amazing with all these different angles to just be comfortable. Um, this magnetic hinge makes it easier to type on, so um, you're not going to have any issues typing with this in your lap. So that was one of the biggest complaints that people had with the Surface products, the Surface Pro products and the SP3 that it was difficult to type on. But I think Microsoft did a great job with all these new features that really just um, allow you to have a comfortable feeling when typing out your essays or working on your computer in general. So I think Microsoft did a good job with this new friction hinge and the new design of the Type Cover 3. Personally, I think this is huge. You see all these little holes right here? That is where your air vents are, so where your fan is basically um, blowing hot air out. So what's important is on all laptops, they're going to overheat. There's loud fans in them, and they're just going to get hot. And where are they going to get hot? On your lap. Where the keyboard is is usually where the whole computer is in a laptop. But in the Surface Pro 3, where the computer is is where the screen is. So just this flimsy keyboard is going to be on your lap that does not get hot. So that is awesome. You're not going to have to worry about burning your legs. So with the SP3, even though there is, um, just like any other laptop, it is going to get heat. Uh, it's going to get a little hot. And the fan actually really isn't very loud at all, which I'm very surprised at and I love. So um, with this, I think it was it's perfect. Having this laptop, just like any other, that would overheat, but it's not going to burn my legs. So I think they, uh, Microsoft did a good job with that. All right, so this right here is a video input or output input port, whatever. Um, and what's cool is it's actually the same one as um, on the MacBook computer. So the Thunderbolt port is the same one as this one. So I had a converter for my HDMI that fit my Mac, but it also fits this SP3. So what's cool is lots of people, sorry for saying what's cool is so much, <laughs> but um, lots of people think that the 12 inch isn't large enough. But what you can go ahead and do is hook it up to a larger monitor. I have a 32 inch setup here and I use my SP3 like a desktop computer basically. And now I can upgrade my 12 inch to a 32 inch screen and it works perfectly fine. Like I said, this is a full PC laptop running with an i5 processor. So it works perfectly fine when you hook it up to a large monitor. What you can also do is, since this is a Bluetooth device, you can go ahead and use something like Google Chromecast or whatever, or the uh, Netgear push to TV devices to wirely um, sync your uh, tablet to the screen. So that is super awesome. So with that, just a quick comment, the SP3 is a brushed aluminum color with just a matte finish, and it just feels very nice. It looks awesome. and. Um, again, this is just the perfect, seriously perfect device for any college student or anybody just looking for a new computer, new laptop device out there. So um, feel free to leave comments below. Let me know what you think about the Surface Pro 3, if you like it, um, if you don't like it, and why. But please, let's just try not to be hostile. Let's just give good feedback and constructive criticism to everyone, um, and let's just help each other out. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you in some way. Um, and if you are a college student, um, I hope that you buy this product because personally I think this would really benefit your college life. So um, good luck in college out there. And thank you all so much for watching again. Remember to leave comments below. Um, if you have any suggestions for other videos you want me to do with the SP3 um, or with any other products or devices, let me know and I'll try to make that happen. So again, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if it was helpful to you. And as always, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. It is so easy. Just click that button below and that would help me out so much. So um, my name is Jerry Lan. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.